Good evening. I'd like to call to order the October 22, 2015 regular monthly meeting of the Scarborough Sanitary District Board of Trustees. We'll start with a call to order and our roll call here. Dave Nelson. Here. Charles Anderson. is absent. Nick Rico. Here. Ben Viola. Here. Rob McSorley. Present. <coughs> Garrison is also absent. I am Chairman Jason Greenleaf. And next order of business is... Mr. Chairman, I would like to make a motion to change the order of our agenda, including uh, item 7B, moving it to 9B, and immediately adjourning after an executive session for a legal matter. Second. Motion and a second. Any questions? All in favor of approval of that motion? None opposed. Joining us now is Mr. Anderson. Charlie, how are you? Great, thanks. Sorry to be late. No problem. All right. So uh, uh, we've moved executive session down. We're going to go with the approval of the September 24, 2015 workshop meeting minutes. So moved. Second. Any errors or omissions? Next. Just one note that I was actually late to that meeting, not absent. All in favor of approval of the workshop minutes? None opposed. One abstention. And one abstention. <coughs> Thank you. Next would be the September 24, 2015 regular monthly meeting minutes. So moved. Approved, Mr. Chairman. Second. I had a second there. Nick? All right. Errors or omissions on the meeting, meeting minutes? Hearing none. All in favor of approval? One abstention? One abstention. Thank you. Next we'll move on to our <coughs> superintendent and operations report from Mr. Hughes. Okay, the um, monthly report of operations, a copy of which is included in your packet for the month of September. Our average effluent flow for the month was 1.13 million gallons per day. Our effluent quality was, again, well within our permitted limits. We averaged 98%. Uh, BOD removal and 99% total suspended solids removal for the month. Concentrations of 6 milligrams per liter and 4 milligrams per liter respectively. A copy of the pump station flows for the month of September is included in your packet. With the heavy rains on the 30th, our flow to the plant about doubled overall. During that time, we had no issues with keeping up with the increase in flow at any of our pump stations or the collection system or at the wastewater plant. Uh, during the rain event, we did get out and inspect the sewers for obvious sources of inflow, but were unsuccessful at that time in our efforts. Um, the Pine Point Bridge re uh, replacement project is now underway. Uh, there was just a pre-construction meeting this past, past month. They are scheduled to get the temporary bridge constructed this winter. Uh, Glenn and I uh, conducted a nitrification training course for DEP this past month. The course was well attended by about uh, 30 operators from throughout the state of Maine, and it went very, very well. Uh, good positive feedback on that. Gary attended West Tech this year. He came back with several leads on equipment that may benefit the district. Uh, the district. <coughs> we consulted with Safety Works with regard to updating our respiratory protection program. As a result, we will be making some minor adjustments to our program in a short time. Uh, just as a reminder, November and December monthly meetings will occur on the third Thursday of the month, not the fourth Thursday, as, uh, which is typical. And as also as a reminder, our next month, um, on November 19th, we will have our budget workshop, which will start at 6.30 p.m. Uh, this past month, we did receive one odor complaint. On the 28th of September, I received a complaint from Mike Shaw concerning odor he detected coming out from a catch basin on Iris Drive. I met him on site on the 29th, and at that time, there was no detectable odor. Uh, we inspected the sumps of the catch bases within the area, and they all were clean with no indication of sewage. Uh, we decided that we would TV the drain line to ensure that there was no uh, cross connection. That work is scheduled for this week. I believe it's going to be taking place tomorrow. Uh, Smith and Loveless, who provides um, 
that we utilize uh, several of their pumps uh, throughout the collection system uh, has actually going to be coming to the plant next week and doing a, a video photo shoot of some of the, the installations that are um, at the pump stations and uh, interviewing Gary and um, Kyle and concerning the, the use of their equipment. And that is all I have. Thanks, Dave. Questions for the superintendent? All right, we'll move on to correspondence. First item is Sebago Technics' ability to serve at 153 U.S. Route 1. Uh, Sebago Technics requ requested confirmation of his ability to serve a proposed 18,000 square foot medical office facility at 153 U.S. Route 1. This is the previous location of the Scarborough Commons, which burned down. Scarborough Commons was approved uh, for 1,000 gallons per day. I pro provide him with the attached ability to serve letter. I haven't heard back from them at this point. Any questions on that? Okay, we'll move on to old business. We have none. New business, a nine month budget summary. Uh, the budget summary is included in your packet and we recommend approval. So moved. Second. Second. Second, any questions on the budget summary? All in favor of approval? Mr. Chairman? Yes. I did have a question on the monthly expenditures which seem to indicate that we paid a dual principal payment this month. Is that in fact why we were plus 350000 more or less on that line? I'm sorry. I didn't hear what you said, John. Under the current month actual column, um, Principal payment was $727,978, and the budget for that line was $393,078. So it appears to me that we paid the entire principal in one payment this year. I don't know the answer to that. No, it was, we had two separate payments um, that we made. <coughs> in the same 30 day period? One was. It's the way that it's scheduled into the computer. One was September and one was October, and it was just a timing issue. Okay. The way that I had put it into the budget then. Yeah. Okay, because the, the, the current month budget was for 393000 and we paid 727 Right, it was the way that I understand, what, I understand what you're saying. So should we set that budget column up differently next budget process? Yes. Thank you. Good catch, Charlie. Thank you. Next month they're leaving out, right? Because it comes in your, oh, okay. It's all done. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Thank you. Nothing, uh, Mr. Chairman, nothing inappropriate there. The total that was expended was what our annual budget was for that item. I don't want anybody to get the wrong idea. Mm -hmm. um, it was just that it was all paid, apparently paid in one lump payment, which is usually not the way we do it. Okay. Thanks for clarifying. Any other questions on that? No? All in favor of approval? None opposed. Next item on the agenda are public comments. We do have one member of the public here this, this evening. Any comments? I'm not a resident of the district, but I'm All right. Thank you. And next would be trustee comments. I'll start down on my left with Ben. Uh, no comments this month. <coughs> Thank you. Nick? Ditto. No comment. Dave? Hope everyone has a, has a safe Halloween. This is coming up. Hey, Rob. I uh, want to thank all the employees for coming out for the dinner uh, with the trustees. It was a good time and uh, uh, entertaining somewhat and uh, really enjoyed it. And uh, once again, uh, congratulations to Josh. Uh, we rec may recognize him last month, but uh, I wanted to say a personal uh, thing. I guess he did not uh, come to the dinner, or he I didn't see him. No, he had a personal uh, I, uh, issue come up that yeah. made it him unavailable for the dinner. Uh, hopefully, get to meet him here in the near future and whatnot. Uh, have a happy and safe Halloween. Watch out for all the little kitties. And uh, that's all for me. Thanks, Rob. Charlie? Uh, I just want to congratulate uh, Glenn and Dave uh, for being requested by DEP to present. Um, 
on the nitrification training um, the DP held. I think it's a credit to us that our staff is being asked to do the, provide those kind of services back to the peer group that uh, that we work in and that DEP respects our folks enough to ask them to do those presentations. So um, appreciate that, David and Glenn. Thank you. And we both enjoyed it, actually. Uh, and also um, just wanted to remind folks that there's a local election in November and uh, urge folks to get out uh, and vote for the candidates that they think will best uh, serve the interests of the community. That's it. Thank you. Thank you, Charlie. Uh, I'll again, piggyback on Rob's comments. Thanks to the staff for coming out to the dinner. I had a great time, as always. And uh, that's all I had. Motion to adjourn to executive session. Second. Uh, recess to executive session. We'll come back. Do we have to? No, we can adjourn there, I think. Uh, Point of, just a point of clarification um, on Nick Rico's motion at the beginning of the meeting to take things out of order. Did his motion include adjourning to executive it did. session? It did. Okay. Thank you. So we have a motion on the floor to adjourn to executive session. We had a second as well. Uh, not to come back into public session when we're done. Correct. All in favor? Opposed? Thank you.